Electoral Commission Chairman Wafula Chebakati has retained city lawyer Donald Kipger to protect his interests as his job comes under increasing scrutiny. Mr. Chebakati said speculation over his tenure had increased following the sending on leave of the agency's chief executive officer Ezra Chiloba and the resignation of three commissioners, which left the commission's ability to discharge its legal mandate in question. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, chairman said unnamed forces are bent on removing him from office and were behind claims he had instructed the lawyer to negotiate a compensation of SH 700 million for him and the two remaining commissioners to leave office. Not true. That is part of a series of rumors created to put pressure on my two commissioners and I, with the sole purpose of attempting to remove us from office. Mr. Chebakati said. Exit Package In a phone message, Mr. Kipkerer said, I have been retained by Wanyani Iwafula Chebakati, Chairman Ebg, to act for him generally respecting his tenure of office. Sources at the Commission had told the nation that Mr. Chebakati and the two remaining commissioners were silently negotiating a SH 700 million exit package way above the estimated SH-120 million owed to them for the remainder of their terms. The deal was to be based on what they would have earned for the remainder of their six-year term, and a golden handshake, the sources said. The EBB team took office in January 2017, and had a fixed, non-renewable six-year term. Having served only 15 months of their 72-month tenure, the three commissioners have 57 months left in their contract. The other commissioners still serving are Abti Gulai and Boyamalu, following last week's exits of Connie Mena, Paul Kurgat, and Margaret Mwakanya. Resignation Asked whether the three EB top officials would be open to such a package, Mr. Chebakati said, such discussion is not in our minds. Mr. Kipkerer who had earlier refused to discuss the details of any instructions from Mr. Chebakati because of client confidentiality, said reports of him leading negotiations for an exit package were red herring rumors and fake news. As you are aware, there are some politicians who have been calling for his resignation. None of the calls have been put in writing and thus we can't respond to them. We have not made any offer to anyone as it has never arisen. At the moment, our client is executing his mandate in office, the lawyer said. Salaries Sources close to him and Commissioners Gulai I and Milu however said the three are open to leaving office. They feel their fate lies in the Uru Rail a handshake. It actually does revolve around it. They are open-minded that if the deal so proposes their removal, then the best they can do is negotiate good terms, the source said. Since they were recruited before the Salaries and Remuneration Commission did a review of the pay for members of constitutional commissions and independent offices last August, in case of a deal, it might be based on a March 1, 2013 circular. The 2013 notice did not change the EBG chief's packages in the August 2017 salary review which proposes a SH 924,000 per month pay for EB chairman and SH 765,188 for the commissioners. Chiloba Suspension Mr. Chebakati earned SH 792,000 per month in his first year in office, which was to be increased by SH 52,800 each year to cap at SH 1.056 million monthly in the sixth year. Calculated on this scale, Mr. Chebakati would take home SH 45 million in his pending contract. The commissioners, on the other hand, earned SH 640, 681 in their first year with a SH 42, 712 increase each year to hit SH 852, 241 in the sixth year. They would go home with SH 75 million based on the 2013 scale. Reports of the deal emerged as a memo to EBG staff by Mr. Chebakati showed a man appearing to retract on the reasons for suspending Mr. Chiloba. While he had insisted that Mr. Chiloba was suspended because he failed to provide answers to audit queries, Mr. Chebakati said the suspension was only to allow for a substantive audit. 